welcome back to the Buckeye State Well. A very good mission of ours will be well fitting on Memorial Weekend. Well, this is our first day and we got plenty more to go. Well fitting on the NS Chicago line for the next few days, so let's just get started. This NS Grand Train will be heading towards Preston, Pennsylvania. I think he came out of Decatur, Illinois, but I'm not really sure where he originated out of. Only thing I know, he came from the west, going towards the east, towards Preston. This could be 44X or something like that. I actually... I'm not really sure. Could be 54 something, but not really sure what this one symbol is. However, I was going on I-75 and I was just going to the camera store just to get something for my lens and well, ended up being screwed up and I had to get sick. Well, after that, I decided to do some well fitting. Now. We got a westbound coal train that just was sitting there when we got there. And now he's finally leaving after getting a fresh crew from 285. He has a UP Tier 4 Jibo as a growing second unit. This coal train would end up heading towards Burns Harbor, Indiana. With a UP trailing and that'd be kind of cool last up if it wasn't for the NS that was leading for this NS coal train. It's still cool to see foreign power here and there, but still. Foreign power trailing is uh, okay. But this one is a loaded coal train, so it's probably heading over towards Monroe or either Burns Harbor, Indiana. We're back. Today we're doing some more well fitting at Wild Vickers Junction. We will be doing some more on the NS Chicago line. It's our second day and we still have quite a few more to go while we were just getting there and we just got this westbound whatever and he would actually be going towards Chicago 
he would not be crossing over to from the middle, which is track two to track one, which is for some reason. The siding, which is in track number three, would be occupied because there would be an eastbound that would have been already by us, would have been occupied into the siding. So that's why the siding is filled with the eastbound, even though it's a six mile siding, but still trains cannot use it unless one train can use it per time. They can sit there for hours without clueless, but sometimes they can just be out there like a fly. Well, as soon as I got done recording that train, the animal, here comes another one. This is 331. What right now it's 333. And we got 45.99 would be ending up the leader of today's 333. Heading towards Bellevue, Ohio with a bunch of garbage containers on a this manifest. 333 has those blue garbage containers on them. They always do because they're always coming from Detroit, Michigan, which is Oakwood Yard in Marvindale, Michigan, which is in Detroit area. And those, I'm guessing those are garbage containers as well. But I know the blue ones, they haul garbage in them. I know that. So, there's a lot of them always they're always on 333, or at that this time it is always 331. They always had them on.
here comes our next one. This is on a CSX Toledo Terminal. And this is I went 32. What a big from the Pemberville from Walmart's Yard to all the way over to Detroit, Michigan. So he was stopped for quite a while after the NS went by. And then after that, he finally got a signal to go north towards Detroit, Michigan. But I don't see 132 often. Especially they go through my like Erie, Michigan and all that stuff on the on the old CSX Dagon also. What's so weird is like whatever time there's a Grey Ghost or something on I-132, I know about it, but they come like super duper late. Or they no one tells me about it. So what's so weird about that? It's quite odd that no one tells me about the gray ghost so I don't know I just get the bad luck of whatever time the gray ghost being on I-132 Well, unfortunately, this is our last train of the day, so we would have to go back home after this one. I would be driving back home, because we would only stay here for like at least a couple hours. At least we saw the train at least, but when I check out Walbridge Yard, there was some pretty interesting stuff. Like a UP, late day, and then ending up being an SD60 dash to leave. Sitting at Warwick Yard from the previous train from M506 from Cincinnati, Ohio, Queen State Yard to Warwick, Ohio, Warwick Yard. So, he would be throwing, but that would not be a good case. It's still cool to see an SD50 because it's the only left and the only five SD50s in the roster. So that was pretty lucky of us seeing an SD50 at Warbridge. But our GPU would end up being coming up soon. It's another AC44C6M as a GPU.
You have to be kidding me, White. No, I'm not. We're at Holland, Ohio, doing some more well fitting, of course. This is day three, and we got one more day to go. So, we got a NS Grand Train from Crescent, Pennsylvania, going towards westbound towards Decatur, Illinois. But, I don't know if that would be the case or not. But, however, he is going west, I don't know if it's somewhere, or he could be going towards Delta, Ohio, because there is a grain facility that can unload grain trains. But, that would probably be the case for the, this grain train heading over there. After getting this grain train, it would tie down a bit until we be picked up by Buddy. Me and my buddy, named Matt, we both would pick up my buddy, Sebastian, and then we would bring him here, and then get the pizza and stuff, and then bring it back over here to do some more welfare. So this is our first day. Let's get started up today, our day three. Alrighty, we're back. After 30 minutes of picking up my buddy, it will be another 20 to 30 minutes after another train would come by. Two of them would actually go by, but until time being, we would have this eastbound come through. But I'll explain this one. This one is an ace and then a dash nine white face would end up being trailing, but when we last weekend for this one, when I'm editing this one, the first weekend of June, we would end up catching the same at locomotives, but the 997-99 would end up being leading. But since we're well fitting a memorial this weekend, and this case, the ace would end up being leading on this in a model. Already, now we would have another eastbound. This one is our first manifest. You know the 3674 that we saw yesterday that was leading yesterday's manifest westbound through Toledo area. Well, this is the, actually it's the same unit leading on the eastbound manifest. This is 14N heading towards Conway, Pennsylvania. And a lot to say. And this is a lot of manifest. This is going to be a long one. But, it's going fast, so it makes it faster through here. So it feels like it makes it shorter, but it's actually quite long.
we would actually get another train coming. This is actually oh, a oh, sand train oh, from Chicago and a noise to all the way down to Mango Junction to from Chicago and the noise. With some four power being led on the sand train, it would be some being a sub pumpkins would be leading the sand train today. Sometimes NS would lead on the sand train, but today is BNSF. Two in front, and then for some reason there would be one in the rear. That's kind of confusing. We had two trains, one train actually, that had a weird GPU. Now this one? Wow. Well, after that sand train went by, we would end up getting a westbound and a model bound for Chicago and Illinois. This is actually our first westbound in quite some time with some great quality and some great shots. I'm pretty proud of my shot that I got of this westbound. Even though this one was just AT6M, but it's alright. We haven't gotten the westbound in quite a while, so it's just fine for us. We would actually get this eastbound, but I thought this would be the last train, but it's not. This is another animal bound for, I don't know if this one's heading for Harrisburg or what. This one could be 28B bound for Buffalo, but this one has an 8th leader in a C6M it's a 46 series as the C6M on this intermodal so it's fairly new there's my friend Matt in the background hello Matt
This train is an ethanol train. I barely get set up for this one. Here he comes through Holland, which is 297, which is almost by 300 defect detector. And for some reason, I didn't hear defect detector or my, my scanner wasn't on, so, so that's why. If it was, my scanner would have been going crazy. But now I've been like turning on my scanner a lot. Cause that's been helpful since ATCS is no good in this area, in the Toledo area. So the scanner always works. Already, it's day four of us well fitting once again. This is actually our last day well fitting on an NS Chicago line right here at Mirabury, Ohio. And this time is Memorial Day. Thank you for military and police. Thank you for your service. But let's get back to well fitting. We would miss this power of the this westbound mix rate, but we still got quite a few more to go. But I would hear that a SD70M-2 would end up being leading on a sand train back towards Bensonville, Illinois, with a couple of CP would end up being trailing. Now we got a westbound another manifest. This is our second manifest of the day. The first one we caught was a first manifest. Now we got another manifest heading towards our way. This one's heading towards Elkhart, Indiana.
Well, here we are with another westbound. After that westbound cleared, we would get another one for another signal. And that's what I thought we would get the 61W with the SD70M leader and the couple of the CP units that would be thrown behind the SD70M. But no, this is another manifest. I don't know if this one's also bound for Elkar as well, but he could be also bound for Decatur and the noise. Or Kansas City. Not sure. But either way, he is heading towards westbound. The crews are quite friendly today, since it's kind of like Memorial Day. And I wasn't too close to the tracks. I was, I was like 50 feet from the tracks. Well, here comes our westbound that I was talking about. You know that 70M and the CP units that I was talking about on that 61W? Well, here he comes blowing through Mirabury. After that train, there would be no train, sign of trains for like another hour. But that's all right. That gives me time to chill, even though it's quite hot. So where's that westbound that is about to run, run over the corner? Oh, there he is. Let's just get the westbound coming around the corner there. That 61W with an SD70M-2. 2758 would be the leading. But for some reason, it has like a normal ace horn on it, but the trailing units are a bunch of CP units. Well, that's a fairy surprise with a 
an ACU that is bleeding, and a BNSF, one duo, one ace. That was a complete surprise scene on the sand train. Either this one's heading for Mango Junction in Ohio, or around Buffalo area in New York. But I don't really know which one they're, this one's going towards. But I would say this one, this will be our last train of the day and the Memorial Weekend. And by the way, thank you very well for watching. I'll either be seeing you all in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells.